Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to knit this beautiful and classic tank top. And I have three written pattern included women's sizes, extra small go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at knitcrawaddict.com. And please check in description below for all the details that you need to know how to knit this tank top. And for today's tutorial, I'm going to show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. I have made two of these tops so far because I love it so much. It's super comfortable and wearable. Here is another one. Love it, love it. For this project, I used Barocco Miraki. This one in color Passion. It is number three lightweight DK yarn. And the other top that I made, this one, I used color Adol. So in each ball, it have 131 yards, and I use about 450 yards for size small. If you want to substitute yarn, just look for number three lightweight DK yarn and check the gate before you start. And you also need a pair of US5 3.75 millimeter knitting needles, and I use interchangeable needles. And I have two cords, one is 14 inches, and the other one is 22 inches. So you will need the 14 inches for the neckline and armhole ribbings. And when I knit in the round on the body part, I connect them together. And I also have the connecting cord here as well. I really like this interchangeable knitting set. And I can put the link in the description below as well if you want to have the same needle set. And you also need scissors, yarn needle, two stitch markers, and one just the circle regular marker. Okay, for this top, we're gonna start with the upper back. So here's the front, and here is the back. We're gonna cast on, it's gonna be right here. Then we're gonna knit back and forth in row. And also, we're gonna increase on each side until we reach the armpit. So from the cast on edge to the armpit, it's going to be the upper back. And that is what we're going to start working on. Got my yarn and my needles ready to go. I'm going to use long tail cast on. Okay, I got my long tail here. Then I'm going to make slip knot. Insert my needle into that slip knot. And that count as first stitch. Okay, I'm gonna cast on 58 stitches. Yes, two, three, four, five, six, fifty-seven, and fifty-eight. Row one, so we turn. Row one is gonna be the wrong side. We're gonna pull a cloth. So I bring my yarn to the front. So just pull a cloth. Now row two, we turn, then we're gonna knit a cloth. Row two is the right side. So the yarn on the back, then start knitting. Row two is complete, and here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna repeat row one and row two seven more times, and I will have a total of 16 rows. Start count from row one, okay? 
Okay, I have 16 rows here. And now for row 17, which is the wrong side, we're gonna purl across. Now row 18, we turn. And for row 18, it's gonna be the increased row. So you're going to knit the first stitch and then we're going to increase. I'm going to use an M1R to increase or make one right. So to do that, I'm going to use my right needle to pick up the strand in between first stitch and in the next stitch. That strand right there. Okay, I pick it up like that. Then I'm going to use my left needle insert from the back to the front like that then I'm gonna knit into that stitch into the front so that is M1R then I'm gonna keep knitting until I have one stitch left Okay, I have one stitch left and next we're gonna increase by making an M1L or make one left. And to do that, I'm gonna use my right needle to pick up that strand of yarn running in between these two stitches. So yeah, I pick up. Then I'm gonna use my left needle to insert into that strand from the front to back this time. Then I'm gonna knit into the back loop. Okay, knit that stitch and then I'm gonna knit the last stitch. Here's what it looks like at the end of row 18 and I increase two stitches, one stitch on each side. The end of row 18, I have a total of 60 stitches of cloth. And for row 19, wrong side, we're gonna purl. No increase on this row, just purl a cloth. And for row 20, we turn and we're going to knit a cloth, no increase. For row 21, we turn and we're going to pull a cloth. Here's the end of row 21. So I'm gonna repeat row 18 to row 21 three more times and I will have a total of 33 rows start count from row 1. The row that you repeat row 18, you're gonna increase by two stitches, one stitch on each side. And at the end of row 33, I'm gonna have a total of 66 stitches and I'm gonna show you one more row which is row 22. For row 22, we're gonna start repeat row 18. It's gonna be the increased row. So we're gonna knit the first stitch. Then we're gonna make one right. We're gonna pick up the strand that running in between those two stitches. Then I'm gonna use my left needle to insert into that strand from the back to the front. Then knit into the front. 
single crack. Then I'm gonna knit into each stitch until I have one stitch left. Now I have one stitch left and then we're gonna increase, we're gonna make an M1L. And to do that, I'm gonna bring my right needle, pick up the strand of yarn running between these two stitches. Then I'm gonna use my left needle to insert into that strand from the front to the back. Then I'm gonna knit into the back loop. I'm gonna knit into that stitch. Okay. And then I'm gonna knit the last stitch. And at the end of row 22, I have a total of 62 stitches across. I just increase two stitches, one stitch on each side. So yeah, I just gonna keep repeating row 18 to row 21 until I reach the end of row 33. Good luck and take your time. I'm at the end of row 33 and I have a total of 66 stitches across. And for row 34, basically we're gonna repeat row 18. It's gonna be the increased row and I'm gonna show you. So this is row 34. We need the first stitch. Then we're gonna make an M1R. So I pick up the strand of yarn here, insert my needle, my left needle from the back to the front. Then I'm gonna knit into the front stitch. Then I'm gonna knit until I have one stitch left. Okay, I have one stitch left. I'm gonna increase, I'm gonna make an M1L. So I use my right needle, pick up that strand of yarn, insert my left needle from the front to the back, and then knit into the back loop. Then I'm gonna knit the last stitch. At the end of row 34, I have 68 stitches across. And for row 35, we turn and then we're gonna purl across. No increase. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat row 34 and row 35 10 more times and I will have a total of 55 rows start count from row 1. And the row that you repeat row 34, you're gonna increase by 2 stitches, 1 stitch on each side. And at the end of row 55, I'm gonna have a total of 88 stitches. I'm at the end of row 55 and I have a total of 88 stitches across. And now I'm done with the upper back. Next, I'm gonna cut the yarn. Leave a little bit of tail just enough to weave in the end later. Then we're gonna place all these stitches on hold. I'm gonna keep it on my cord cause I have a different cord to work on, okay? If you don't have a changeable knitting needles, you can also use a lifeline like a scrap yarn and then place all these stitches. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my needle out. Now all these stitches are on hold. And then we're gonna work on the upper front. And for the upper front, we're gonna knit one side at a time. And then we're gonna join around here. 
we can now work on the upper right front first. Make sure to place your upper back right side facing up. Then we're gonna pick up 12 stitches at the cast on edge right here. And this is gonna be the setup row. I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch right at that V shape. You see? Insert the needle there. Bring the new yarn, hold it on the back, then I gonna uh, pick up the new yarn and pull through that stitch. Then next stitch is gonna be right here at the next V shape. Insert the needle there and then pick up the next stitch and then repeat into the next stitch. The next V tape right here. Insert the needle and then pick up new stitch and then next V tape right here. Insert and pick up. We're gonna keep repeating that until we have 12 stitches. I have 12 stitches here. Then we're gonna turn our work. Now row one. It is the wrong side and we're gonna pull a cloth. Then row two, we turn. Row two is the right side, we're gonna knit a cloth. Okay, and now I'm gonna repeat row one and row two seven more times, and I will have a total of 16 rows. Start count from row one. Okay, I have 16 rows here, and for row 17, we turn and then we're gonna pull a cloth. Okay, then we turn our work. Now for row 18, we're gonna increase. We make the same as the upper back when we increase. So we're gonna knit the first stitch and then we're gonna increase. We're gonna make an M1R. So I'm gonna use my right needle to pick up that strand of yarn. Then use my left needle to insert from the back to the front into that strand of yarn. Then knit to the front. Then I'm gonna knit until I have one stitch left. Okay, now I have one stitch left and we're gonna increase, we're gonna make an M1L. So I'm gonna use my right needle to pick up that strand of yarn. Then use my left needle to insert into that strand of yarn from the front to the back. Then knit into the back. Then I'm gonna knit the last stitch. At the end of row 18, I have 14 stitches across. I just increase two stitches, one stitch on each side. For row 19, we turn our work, then we're gonna pull a cloth. And turn, row 20, we're gonna knit a cloth. For row 21, we turn and we're gonna pull a cloth. Okay. 
Okay. I'm gonna repeat row 18 to row 21 three more times. And I will have a total of 33 rows. Start count from row one. And the row that you repeat row 18, you will increase by two stitches, one stitch on each side. And at the end of row 33, I'm gonna have a total of 20 stitches. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more row, which is row 22. For row 22, we're gonna start repeat row 18. So it's gonna be the increased row. We need the first stitch. And then we're gonna increase by making an M1R. Gonna use my right needle to pick up the strand of yarn there. Then use the left needle to insert into that strand of yarn from the back to the front. Then knit into the front. Then I'm going to knit until I have one stitch left. I have one stitch left. Next, we're going to increase by making an M1L. So I'm going to use my right needle to pick up that strand of yarn. Then use my left needle to insert into that strand of yarn from the front to the back. Then knit into the back. Then knit the last stitch. Row 22 is complete and I have a total of 16 stitches across. I just increase two stitches, one stitch on each side. All right, so you're just gonna keep repeating row 18 to row 21. And I'm gonna keep doing that and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 33. Okay, I have 33 rows and I have 20 stitches across and for row 34 it's gonna be the increased row. We're gonna knit the first stitch then we're gonna increase by making an M1R. Do the same. Then knit into each stitch until you have one stitch left. I have one stitch left and then we're gonna increase by making an M1L. Then knit the last stitch. At the end of row 34, I have 22 stitches across. And now the upper right front is complete. Okay, next I'm gonna cut the yarn. Leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weave in the end later. Then we're gonna place all these stitches on hold. You can place on the lifeline or you can place into this cord still which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to slide all stitches into that cord. And now we're going to start working on the upper left front. Basically, we're going to make exactly the same as the upper right front. And I'm going to show you how to pick up these stitches. Okay, so we're going to pick up the last 12 stitches on the cast on edge here with the panel right side facing up okay so i gonna count from the edge here so here's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so right there at the v shape there i insert my needle there then I bring my new yarn, hold it on the back, then pick up the stitch. We're gonna insert the needle into the next stitch here, the next V shape, then pick up the stitch. And then next stitch right here. And next stitch right here. Next stitch right here. 
Okay, keep doing this across. And the last stitch is going to be right at this V shape. Okay, so this is the sit up row. Row one, we turn. It's the wrong side. We're going to pull across. I'm just going to show you a couple rows here. Now row two, we turn. It is the right side. We're going to knit a cross. Okay, like I said, for the upper left front, we're going to make exactly the same as the upper right front. And I'm not going to show you how to do the whole thing because it's made exactly the same. And I will put the timestamp in the description below. You can click on to that and watch how to make the upper part again. So yeah, for row 3 to row 34, I'm going to make exactly the same as the upper right front. Then I will be back. Good luck and take your time. I'm at the end of row 34 on the upper left front and now we're gonna join the upper left and upper right together and the pattern is continue it's gonna be row 35 so we turn our work then we're gonna pull all stitches on the upper left here Okay, then I'm going to cast on 24 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 23, and 24. Then I'm going to continue purl all the stitches on the upper right front across so i'm just gonna purl the first stitch here okay Here's what it looks like at the end of row 35. So on the upper left, I have 22 stitches. Then I cast on 24 stitches. Then on the upper right, I have 22 stitches. So at the end of row 35, I have a total of 68 stitches across. And for row 36, we're gonna turn our work. And it's going to be the increased row. Knit the first stitch. Then we're going to increase by making an M1R. We do the same. Then we're going to knit until we have one stitch left. I have one stitch left. And then we're going to increase by making an M1L. So pick up this strand of yarn. Do the same. And then knit the last stitch. At the end of row 36, I have a total of 70 stitches across. I just increase two stitches, one stitch on each side. And for row 37, we're going to turn, then we're going to purl across. I 
I'm gonna repeat row 36 and row 37 nine more times and I will have a total of 55 rows start count from row 1 and the row that you repeat row 36 you will increase by two stitches one stitch on each side and at the end of row 55 I should have a total of 88 stitches across good luck and take your time okay now I have 55 rows on my upper front next we're gonna join the upper front and back together and then we're gonna knit in the round from the body part so on row 55 I pull a cloth right then I turn it over so right now right side is facing up so we're gonna start knit the body part this way right and then we're gonna cast on one stitch for the underarm then we are gonna knit all the stitches on the upper back then we are gonna cast on one stitch for the underarm here and then we will meet where we started right here I hope that makes sense and to be able to do that I gonna remove this needle okay then I gonna remove this end stop cable here I have my cable connector and I'm gonna connect these two cords together. Okay, now my two cords connected. Then I'm gonna bring the needle here and I'm gonna attach my needle into this end so we can work in the round. This is gonna be round one for the body part. I have my working yarn on the upper front and the other needle on the upper back. So I'm gonna knit into each stitch on the upper front across. Okay, I knit across the upper front. Then I gonna cast on one stitch, it's gonna be for the underarm. Okay, then I gonna knit all the stitches on the upper back across. Okay, after I knit across my upper back, I'm gonna cast on one stitch for the underarm. Okay, actually for round one, it's not connected yet. But as soon as we knit the first stitch on round two, it's gonna connect it and then we're gonna work in a round. So this side is connected. But this side, not yet. And here is the front. Let me turn this way. And at the end of round one, I have a total of 178 stitches around. And to start round two, I'm gonna place the marker to know where is the beginning of the round. I place it on the right needle and my working yarn is on the right needle here. Then for round two, we're gonna knit around. See, now it's connected. Now we really work in the round. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep knitting every stitches around round two. Okay, I'm at the end of round two. And now for round three to round 70, I'm gonna repeat round two, which is knit every round, okay? If you want shorter top, make less round. If you want a longer top, or even you wanna make a dress, just keep knitting more rounds, okay? 
So to start round three, I just gonna replace the marker into my right needle. Then I gonna knit the first stitch on round three and then keep knitting every stitches around. And yeah, I gonna keep knitting round three to round 70. Then I will be back. I'm at the end of round 70. Yes, what does it look like? And for round 71, we're gonna make a ribbing and I'm gonna do twisted rib. And if you want to make a normal rib, feel free to do that. So first I'm gonna transfer the marker to the right needle. Then I'm gonna knit the first stitch here. For the twisted rib, we're gonna knit into the back loop. So I insert my needle into the back loop there and then I knit. Then I can pull the next stitch to the back loop as well. So I bring the yarn to the front, then insert my needle to the back loop of next stitch, then pearl. Okay, I can now repeat this around just one by one twisted rib. So I can now knit the next stitch to the back loop. Then I can pull the next stitch to the back loop. Then I'm gonna knit the next stitch to the back loop. Then pull the next stitch to the back loop. Okay, I'm gonna keep repeating this around. Okay, here's what it looks like at the end of round 71. And for round 72 to round 75, we're gonna repeat round 71, okay? So I transfer the uh, marker into the right needle. Then I gonna knit the first stitch into the back loop. Then I gonna pull the next stitch into the back loop and repeat around. Knit the next stitch into the back loop Pearl the next stitch into the back loop. Okay, so I'm gonna keep repeating this until I reach the end of round 75. Then I will be back. I'm at the end of round 75 here. Next, we're gonna buy off. So I'm gonna use a long tail tubular buy off technique. And to do that, I'm gonna cut a yarn and give myself about four times of the circumference of my work. And then I'm gonna remove the marker. Then I'm gonna use my yarn needle to sew. I insert the tail into my yarn needle. Then before we start, I'm gonna use a stitch marker to mark the first stitch here. And this will make it easier when we go to join this to the end. You'll see. I gonna start off by knit off that first stitch that we just marked. So I insert my needle there as if to knit. Okay. Then I skip the next stitch, which is the pearl stitch. I gonna insert my needle into the next stitch there, the knit stitch, as if to pearl, like that and then pull through. It's pretty long. <laughs> you cannot work this in two sections. You work with two knit stitches and then work with two purl stitches. So next, I gonna mark the purl stitch that we skip right here. And then we gonna purl off so insert the needle into that stitch, the purl stitch that we just marked as is to purl. Okay, and then drop that stitch. Then insert the needle in between the next knit stitch and then the purl stitch. So right here. Sneak in from the back. So 
lên phô tư. Then you can uh, insert the needle into that pearl stitch as if to knit back and then pull through. And that's it. We're gonna repeat this around. So the next stitch is gonna be the knit stitch. So we're gonna knit off like that. Then we're gonna skip the next stitch because it's the pearl stitch. Then we're gonna insert the needle into the next knit stitch as if to pearl and pull through. And next, the pearl stitch, we're gonna pull off, insert the needle into that pearl stitch as if to pearl, then pull off. Then we're gonna insert the needle, sneak in in between the next knit stitch and in the pearl stitch from the back. And then pull through. Then we're gonna insert the needle into this next pearl stitch as it's to knit, then go through the back. Okay, and we're gonna repeat. The next stitch is the knit stitch. We're gonna knit off, so insert the needle there as it's to knit, like that. Then skip the next stitch because it's the pearl stitch. Then insert the needle into the next knit stitch as if to pearl, and then pull through. Then the next stitch is the pearl stitch. We're gonna pearl off, so insert the needle into that pearl stitch as if to pearl, and then drop off that stitch from the knitting needle. Then we're gonna sneak in in between the next knit stitch and the pearl stitch from the back, and then pull through. Then insert the needle into that pearl stitch as if to knit and pull through. I show you one more time. So next stitch is the knit off because it's the knit stitch. Then skip the next stitch because it's the pearl stitch. Then insert the needle into the next knit stitch as if to pearl and pull through. And in the pearl stitch, we're gonna pull off then sneak in in between the knit and the pearl stitch from the back and pull through and then insert into the next pearl stitch as if to knit pull through and that's it just keep repeating this around okay so I pull off the stitch, then I stick in in between the next knit stitch and in the pearl stitch there. Then I can insert my needle into that pearl stitch as if to knit and pull through. And now I have two stitches left. I can insert the first two stitches that we mark back into the needle. Okay, so this is the next stitch. Then I'm gonna remove that stitch marker. Then insert the needle into the next stitch, which is the pearl stitch. Then remove my stitch marker. Okay, okay, next. We're gonna knit off because the knit stitch. So I'm gonna knit off the knit stitch. Then I'm gonna insert my needle into the next knit stitch. Skip the pearl stitch. Then the next stitch is gonna be the pearl stitch. So we're gonna pull off. Then insert the needle in between the next knit stitch and the pearl stitch. And pull through. And the last thing I needed to do is just insert the needle into that pearl stitch as is to knit. Then pull through. Then I'm gonna drop off 
all the stitches and weave all the ends. Okay, I'm gonna keep weaving the end. I'm probably gonna tie a couple knots just to make sure it's secure. Here's what it looks like. I think it's very beautiful. Next, we're gonna knit around the edges and we're gonna start with the neckline edge first. And to do that, I'm gonna use 14 inches circular needle cord with the same needle size. I'm gonna start pick up the stitches right in the middle of the neckline on the back side. So I'm gonna start insert my needle right here, right at that middle part of the V shape there. Then I bring the new yarn. I hold it on the back. Then I grab it with my needle and pull up a loop. So the next stitch is just gonna be right here. The next V chain, insert, and then pull up a loop. And the next stitch here, insert, and then pull up a loop. Next stitch here, insert, and pull up a loop. Next stitch right here, insert, and pull up a loop. Okay, I gonna keep doing that every stitches. Like okay, now we're gonna pick up along the edge when we make the upper front. So the first stitch will be this one right here. And then the next stitch will be this one, next space. And then pick up. And the next space will be right here. And the next space will be right here. Okay, so I'm gonna keep picking up the stitches around the neckline. Then I will be back. Okay, I pick up the stitches around the neckline and I have a total of 126 stitches around. If you have a couple more or a couple less stitches, it's totally fine. Just make sure that you have an even number of the stitches because we're gonna make one by one rib. Okay, so before we start round one, we're gonna place the marker into the right needle and I'm gonna make a twisted rib so I'm gonna knit into the back loop of the first stitch here. And then purl into the back loop of the next stitch. And knit into the back loop. Purl into the back loop. Knit into the back loop purl into the back loop, knit into the back loop, purl into the back loop, okay? It's the same as we make the ripping part at the bottom here. I gonna keep making one by one twisted rib around. Okay, I'm at the end of round one and for round two to round four, we're just gonna repeat round one. So I'm just gonna replace the marker into the right needle, then knit the first stitch into the back loop, purl the next stitch to the back loop, knit the next stitch to the back loop, purl next stitch to the back loop. I'm just gonna keep making this one by one twisted rib around for a total of four rounds okay this is round number two and after i have total of four rounds i gonna bind off by using a long tail tubular bind off technique make the same as the uh, bottom here at the ribbing so i'm not gonna show you how to do that bind off again because it's still exactly the same and i gonna put timestamp in the description below 
if you wanna watch that bite off again because I don't want to make this video too long. And after I'm done with the neckline, I'm gonna show you how to do the armhole edge. After I finish my neckline ripping edge, I went ahead and knit one side of my armhole ripping edge. And I will show you how to do this side. I'm gonna start pick up the stitches around the armhole edge right here at this corner. Okay, I insert my needle there and then I bring my new yarn. I hold it on the back. Then I'm gonna pull up a loop. Like that. Then I'm gonna insert into the next stitch right here. Right here. And then pull up a loop. Then next space right here. And then pull up a loop. Next space right here. Pull up a loop. And then next space right here. Pull up a loop. Next space right here. Pull up a loop. Next space right here. Pull up a loop. I'm gonna keep pick up the stitches around the armhole edge until the end. Okay, I pick up the stitches around the armhole edge and I have a total of 112 stitches around. If you have a couple more or a couple less stitches, it's totally fine. Just make sure that you have an even number of these stitches. Then we're gonna make one by one twisted rib for two rounds. So before we start, place the marker into the right needle. We're gonna knit the first stitch to the back loop. Then we're gonna purl the next stitch to the back loop. And then we're gonna repeat that around. Knit the next stitch to the back loop. Purl the next stitch to the back loop. Knit the next stitch to the back loop. Purl the next stitch to the back loop. Knit the next stitch to the back loop and purl the next stitch to the back loop. All right, just keep repeating this around. So this is round one. And I'm gonna make just two rounds for my armhole ribbing edge. And when I'm at the end of round one, I'm gonna replace the stitch marker to the right needle. Then I'm gonna knit the first stitch to the back loop and then purl the next stitch to the back loop and repeat that around. So yeah, I'm gonna do that twisted rib for two rounds. And then after that, I'm gonna bite off by using a long tail tubular bite off technique. Make exactly the same as the neckline rib and then the bottom rib. And I will be back. And after I finish with my edges, I weave all my ends and I'm done with my classic beautiful knitted tank top. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.